girls welcome back and if you're new here welcome here in this channel we'll talk about relax take care hair growth is protective styling and so much more concerning the hair topic in general so if you know you're interested in this type of content please consider subscribing to join the family so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys an update on my relaxed hair so for those of you that have been following me you know that i relaxed my hair about three months ago after a one year relaxer stretch and during that relaxer routine i got a lot of under processed and over processed hair so right now as of today i am 13 weeks post relaxer yeah i know i said in my previous videos that i'm supposed to relax my hair at 12 weeks because i want to do a corrective relaxer i don't know if you guys can notice but my hair is getting more puffy the longer i stretch my relaxer so i actually use the word under process and unprocessed because a part of my hair was actually unprocessed like it looks as if no relaxer was applied on it at all like there was no relaxer process on that part of my hair at all while there are some parts of my hair that is actually under processed so like i said the longer i am stretching my relaxer the more puffy it's becoming the harder it's becoming for me to manage and i actually just realized realized that I have a lot of inches to correct like during my corrective relax I'm going to have to correct a lot because right now I think I can feel where I need to correct up to this level that is a lot I don't even know how I'm going to do it yet but I'm just hoping everything comes out fine like I said in my previous videos I'm going to share the process and everything with you guys to so make sure to stay tuned it's my first time actually doing a corrective relaxer so I'm excited and at the same time I'm nervous so hopefully everything comes out fine so like I said as of today I am 13 weeks post relaxer I was supposed to relax my hair at 12 weeks i chose 12 weeks because i realized the earlier i relax my hair the less amount of hair i'll have to deal with so that's why initially i wanted to stretch this relaxer for three months if you are new here or you did not know it's been long i actually went on a three months relaxer stretch my previous relaxer stretches were one year eight months six months and all that so this is actually the first in a long time so i was supposed to relax my hair last week which was 12 weeks but i couldn't because of some factors today we are 13 weeks and i can relax my hair this week as well because of some factors like i have been so busy with so many things setting up my new apartment and all that if you notice i have a new background please let me know in the comment section down below if you actually like this background so at the moment i'm kind of settled a little so i'll likely relax my hair next week or maximum in two weeks thank god i am not in any long-term protective styles if you are new here or you didn't know almost all the time my hair is usually in long-term protective styles i think this is the first time i'm actually carrying my hair in a bun between two relaxer stretches without installing any form of long-term protective styles so previously what i do is put my hair in long-term protective styles then two weeks before my relaxer routine if it's too close one week but i would not recommend you take down your long-term protective styles one week prior to your relaxer day it's usually recommended that you take down your protective styles two weeks prior to your relaxer day so most of the times i go one week but it's not advisable and it's not recommended so like i said what i do is take down my protective styles like two weeks or if it's too close one week prior to my relaxer day then i put my hair in big braids or twists and this is actually to avoid tangling before the relaxer day itself so that is usually how i prepare my hair before my relaxer day i don't do anything like protein treatments deep conditioning and all those to prepare my hair for my relaxer day so let's say the only preparation i do prior to my relaxer day is to take down any form of long-term protective styles purchase all the products i need and that's basically it so for this relaxer routine thankfully i am not in a long-term protective style so i can actually relax my hair at any time i can actually relax my hair today even if i want to but no i have plans for today already so yeah i'm just gonna leave it at next week or maximum two weeks so make sure to stay tuned for that because i think apart from the relaxer routine itself i'm also going to be straightening my hair again and possibly do a trim my last trim was three months ago during my last relaxer day and i know when i posted that trim i told you guys that i was going to be trimming my hair gradually over time instead of just going for a big chop so after this relaxer routine i'm going to look at my ends and possibly get a trim so make sure to stay tuned for that as well so this is how my hair is looking like at the moment. 
I have not done anything fancy ever since my last relaxer routine. All I've been doing is just putting my hair in a bun, moisturizing with my heat protectant, detangling my hair like every two weeks and all that. That is basically what I have been doing for the past 14 weeks. So that's it for my relaxer and my trimming. Now for my regimen, my regimen is still kind of the same. If you know me, I'm a huge fan of protective styling and low manipulation, but I am a huge fan of long-term protective styles. But right now, since my last relaxer, I have been using a short-term protective style, which is born. So let's just say this is actually like a modification of my regimen, but it's still basically the same relaxer stretches, protective styling, low manipulation, and all that. I already made a video on my updated relaxed hair regimen, so you can check it out if you are interested. As for my hair products, I'm still using the same products. Like I said, after my last relaxer routine, the only products I've been using is my heat protectant, which is the Profective Mega Growth Motor Polish high shine serum i usually show this product in all my detangler videos so you can check out my detangler video to see how the product look like if you haven't seen it before during my relaxer routine i use the same products i've been using before i don't think i purchased or used any new product see my prophetic mega growth relaxer the prophetic mega growth deep conditioner my living conditioner was also from the prophetic mega growth line i used two deep conditioners for my relaxer the prophetic mega growth deep conditioner and the organics hair mayonnaise deep conditioner so all these are products i've been using before so i didn't actually do anything new now as for my length i did a length check during my last relaxer routine in case you missed it you can check it out i did a length check where my hair was about one inch away from table length but that was prior to my trim so after my trim obviously my hair reduced in size i think to about two to three inches away from table length i also did a length check during my last detangler routine i think it's the last video before this one but i'll call that a mini length check because if you know me i don't like doing length checks between relaxer stretches because i feel like i don't get the actual value like the actual length of my hair because of the fact that during a relaxer stretch i have a lot of new growth which is usually coily so i may not actually be able to stretch that out to get the true length of my hair and it's even worse now because i have a lot of under processed and unprocessed hair so it's one of the reasons why i'm considering straightening my hair after this relaxer routine to do another length check so make sure to stay tuned for that as well so yeah that's it for my length as for my detangling routines i am still going to be detangling my hair maybe once before my next relaxer day i detangled my hair proud to filming this video so maybe i'll detangle it once before my relaxer day but i don't think i'm going to upload that video because i think the detangling routines videos are getting too much so the next detangling routine you see will probably be on my relaxer day like after i relax my hair how i'm going to detangle my hair and all that so i've talked about my detangling length check my hair products hair regimen, relaxer stretching, and trimming. So I think I've covered everything um, concerning my hair at the moment. Please, if you have any other questions or any updates you want to know about my hair, please make sure to leave it down in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you. I know I promised you guys a relaxed hair Q&A due to popular demand. I even put up a post about I think one to two months ago asking you guys to drop your questions I haven't forgotten I have your questions I'm working on the video so hopefully this week that video should be out so make sure to stay tuned for that as well so yeah guys if you watched this video this far I enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here and you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video so yeah guys that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!